Okay, direct variation. Direct variation is just basically translating that sentence into an equation. Um, so the variable y varies directly as the variable x. can also be stated y is directly proportional to x. Uh, makes the equation y equals kx, essentially, where k is some constant of proportionality, or just a constant of some kind, you know. You think of it this way, you know, if we were, if you were driving 60 miles per hour uh, down a road, um, uh, your distance, oops, your distance would be directly, uh, would vary directly to your, well, we'll call it D, distance would vary directly um, to your time driven and 60 is that slope or the constant um, of proportionality. So it's really just a linear equation. Y equals, think about y equals mx without the y-intercept. Um, and so that's direct variable, direct variability. So, you know, this equation represents a, a car driving 60 miles per hour where uh, x is hours and d is distance. So um, th there's lots of examples. You see them everywhere. So here's an example. The distance travel, the distance sound travels varies directly. So here's that word as the time it travels. So right there, you can stop. We'll stop right there and make a, an equation out of that. So the distance sound travels. So we'll come up with a variable for that. I think I'll pick D varies directly, which means we need a k or a constant of proportionality, as the time it travels. So we'll call time t. So now once you have the equation, it's possible to solve the rest of the problem. If sound travels 1340 meters in four seconds, we can find our constant of proportionality. So just plug it in. 1340 is your distance, so 1340 equals uh, k times t for seconds, or not t, we know it's t is 4 seconds, excuse me. And so k, our constant of proportionality is 1340 divided by 4. And so you go ahead and divide that to figure out what that number is. So we can get our, sp basically we're finding the speed that the, that sound travels. And uh, you know, I've always argued that you don't really need this direct proportional, but you see it in, in science texts and things like that, so um, I suppose it's pretty worthwhile. And so 1340 divided by 4, um, you know, 3, 12, 14, uh, you got uh, uh, 14, 3 again. Uh, 12 and then 20 and then 5. So it looks like uh, um, speed, the speed of sound is 335 meters per second. Well, not that you need to know that. All you really need to know is K is 335. And then, so what it wants us to find then next is, and we'll do that in black, is it now says find the distance sound travels um, in 5 seconds. Well, K is, K is 335, so the distance sound travels in 5 seconds would be D equals 335 times 5. And then you just multiply them. So D equals 5 and 5 is 25, 2, 15, 17, so 16. So it travels 1,675 meters, which makes sense. It'd just be one more time than four seconds, one more 335. And that should do it. That's directly proportional. That's all you do with all of the problems. Come up with your equation first, then start plugging things in to find your constant of proportionality, and then plug in to find out what they want you to find next, whether it's D in this case or T. could be either one. So good luck. Hope that helps. If you run into a snag, make sure you give me a contact. See you later.